Hi and welcome to this Blueprint Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to go through the Forex market wrap. We're going to go over what we went in the week ahead analysis and discuss what happened to those charts. But before we do, let's talk about the news for the week. And it was very uh, heavily dominated by the US dollar. Lots of news coming out this week. Um, and uh, most of it was inflationary data, which um, we did talk about that it, it, you know, it was forecast coming a little bit lower than expectations. I didn't see it coming in as low as these forecasts suggested, which it didn't. Um, however, uh, it turned quite bearish for the US dollar after the sort of PPI data and uh, especially the retail sales data that we've seen out of the market. Some significant downside to that retail sales data. Now, at the start of the week, we also talked about the yields and the 10 year in particular, and the fact that that was rising, uh, rising and we broke out of 1.7. And 1.7 was a key level because pretty much the market uh, or the yield stayed below that for the past year or so. And uh, it was a significant uh, thing to see the price break above 1.7 we did suggest that this week it probably retest 1.7 before moving higher which it has done and uh, what that caused was stocks to fall and you can see this chart behind the news tab is the us 500 or the s p 500 versus the 10-year yields and you can see as yields are rising stocks are falling so we did discuss that that could happen in the short term so um, that's looking like it's going to continue for a little bit longer and um, we'll see how the rest of the uh, sort of or see how next week starts but um, what added to the stock pressure was definitely the poor news of retail sales um, earlier today so interesting to see uh, what's going on in the markets at the moment and if we start on the dollar index we can see that we finally got the breakout of the range that we were looking for we were look, wanted to see a catalyst come into the market to drive prices lower and that came with that cpi data the cpi data came out price broke through the lows of the range and uh, and now we saw price head towards those previous structure highs which we talked about previously around about 94.50 um, we do think it's actually going to come a little bit lower than that. Um, however, it's now started that move to the downside. Um, and you can see lots of aggressive selling coming in uh, after those news events. We're starting to get a little bit of a recovery in the short term. Obviously, that might be due to some profit taking in the market um, or just uh, you know repositioning of positions um, in the market. So we will be interested to see what happens. You know, If we can pull back into sort of 95, 60, could be another downward turn for the US dollar as price heads back towards this previous weekly high. That led to a breakout in Euro US dollar. We talked about the potential for Euro to break higher this week. Strength meter was suggesting that the Euro was getting stronger. So we really wanted to see um, if price would break to the upside. Obviously, the US dollar index broke lower, Euro dollar breaks higher, and uh, we saw price rally significantly. Uh, we are looking for a retest of the range around about 113.75. If we can get that retest, there it could be buyers stepping back into the market. We discussed in our previous Euro dollar video that if price was to get into this zone here, we could start to see some selling pressure. We did eventually see that it was news driven, but we did eventually see that uh, pullback start to come into effect um, but I do still feel like the uh, the price could head back towards 115 or even 116 so keep an eye on euro dollar I don't think the this move is done just yet I think we are going to see potentially another move uh, higher going into next week another chart of interest for us was gold gold was the uh, sort of idea that if inflation was rising in the US, um, we would see another leg higher in gold. Um, we basically talked about the fact that last time we saw inflationary data that really pushed the market higher, gold moved significantly. Um, that was the sort of basis of what we were looking at here, whether price could uh, hold at this sort of level and um, uh, you know drive higher in line with inflation again. And uh, that's kind of what we had from the start of the week, really price started to break higher, make higher highs and higher lows. We were looking for price to come back towards these 1830 highs and uh, we've reached that now. So it'd be interesting to see 
how gold positions again if the dollar does take another leg lower gold could break above 1830 and uh, move back towards the sort of 1870 highs finally then crude oil was our one to watch for another continuation of the upward trend um, this tra uh, trend continued really nicely and we we're approaching these major highs at 83 80 where i imagine we would see a little bit of selling pressure coming into the market but at the moment that trend did continue we broke and we formed um after we formed the higher highs early in sort of uh this week's trade and the price retested that structure uh, and rallied quite nicely uh in line with the sort of overall trend here so we'll take a look at this uh in the week ahead analysis but big movers this week oil was definitely a big mover we are approaching a major key resistance level though so we could see some sellers come in i hope you enjoyed the content this week if you did leave this video a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel to see some more of our forex uh, videos and uh, i'll speak to you next week